Hi guys, this is a tutorial on how I make stickers using my iPad and the app Procreate and my Cricut. So if you have an iPad, you need to download this app for $13.99 or something like that and it's well worth it. You pay once and you get this really crazy cool drawing app and you need an Apple Pencil or a stylus to use it. Um, so I opened up Procreate and I'm just showing you where I keep all of my things I've digital art I've done. That's another sticker pack I've done. And I'm going to go up here, I think, in a second, and I'm going to choose a new canvas. And I have one set to the size I like to make sticker sheets. And you can't really see, so I think I lift it up a little closer. It says sticker sheet. And it's just, it kind of works out for me when I want to transfer it over. So I open that up. And usually you would do a more detailed drawing, but just for the purposes of showing you how I do it, I'm just going to pick the studio pen under inking and draw some hearts. Now this isn't a tutorial on how to use Procreate so if you don't know how to use that yet then you need to find um, a tutorial to help you with that. This is just how I make stickers using it. So I'm just doing like freehand a bunch of little hearts with thick black lines and these aren't stickers that I I mean, normally I do something more detailed um, and themed, and then I'm just going to drag in some different... I have like a pink and purple palette there. I'm going to drag... You can drag that little circle at the top right down to anything that's kind of... that you've um, completed the line on, and it will fill the color for you. So super easy. So I'm just going to vary them so it's not too boring. Also, I think you probably have noticed, or maybe you didn't, I discovered filters on this iMovie thing and now I'm addicted so this whole video I put and it took me forever so I probably screwed up somewhere I added filters no the same filter I added the fil dreamy filter oh wait this is the important part okay you need to open a new page or a new um, what are they called again well I can't pause it so anyway you need to go up into the little pages there uh, layers they're called and you need to open a new one and slide it underneath this one then on that one you're going to choose just like a uh, like I like to use hard airbrush choose a color that stands out a little bit from the white like a gray or something and if your pay if your layer is under the hearts you can outline those hearts pretty easily with that hard airbrush in the gray so that it kind of has like you know how stickers kind of have a little white edge around them but if, it's, if the layer is on top, it's going to color over your sticker. So you have to open a new layer, drag it underneath, and as neatly as you can, go around the stickers. And I, I mean, I'm just doing it for the sake of this tutorial, but usually you would take a lot more time to do this so that they look nice. And, and the Cricut will cut along these lines after you tell it to. So you want those to be really smooth and pretty even all the way around. See how simple that is? I mean, really, you can you can get your kids to draw something and if you put a layer under it, you can outline it and send it to your printer and then to your Cricut. So it's pretty nice to be able to make stickers for yourself, for your journaling, for your kids or for your students. So I'm almost done. I think some of these I've done, I've, I've sped up, but I don't know. So then I'm going to just hide the drawing, the heart, like the, the hearts themselves. And I'm just going to fill in the outline I did just so the Cricut knows not to cut, you know, in case there was some in the drawing somewhere, um, I want the Cricut to know just to cut around that basic shape and not cut within the heart. There, simple as that, done. Now you're going to go to the little wrench, click share, and, and you're going to click PNG. So you're going to export it as a PNG file, and you can send it wherever you want to send it. I'm going to send it to, I think I'm going to send it to my computer so I can upload it on my Cricut. So here we are um, on Cricut, and the last program, the last thing I was working on, I didn't close down, so I've got to close that down. What you saw in the upper right corner, that heart image was airdropped. And so now I have it, and I can open it up in 
See, that's the project I was working on before, those little stickers. So now I want to get upload a new image, go into my download and scroll almost to the bottom because it's usually down at the bottom. Find those hearts and open in Cricut Design Space. Easy peasy. So then you're going to, I always pick complex. You have choices, simple, um, moderately complex, and complex. Just pick complex and then click the white space around your stickers. And once you do that, that's, t that's basically telling the Cricut cut everywhere, you know, except this area. So it will cut around. So it's showing you where it's going to cut. See the gray silhouettes there. So that's where the Cricut's going to cut. I like that. So I hit continue. And now it's going to be time. Well, I went back by mistake. So I go back in my hearts again. After I adjust my computer, I guess. Or I downloaded this clip twice. Oh no. So I am. I am. So that was weird. Everything kind of went wrong when I was doing this. The printer acted funny. So some of the clips I had to take out. So it's going to be a bit disjointed. Then the computer started to freeze up. Then the cricket started making noises, and it's pretty new. So, you know, when I'm trying to organize something, everything kind of went wrong. The, so I'm going to make these smaller for some reason. When you upload an image into Cricut Design Space, it comes out huge. So you have to make it pretty small. I use, um, well, I hate it. I'm not going to order it again, but I use vinyl. And it was, like, cheaper. And it came rolled up, so it's problematic putting it in the printer. But you can just buy sticker paper at Michael's or Staples or one of those places. But vinyl's nice just because you could put it on your tumbler or your water bottle and it can go in the dishwasher and everything. So the vinyl stands up pretty well. So what I did is I selected those hearts and I clicked duplicate. So you can right click to find duplicate or it's also in the top right. And then I'm going to select them all and attach them. The attach buttons at the lower right. And I'm going to make as many fit on the page as I can. For some reason, and maybe someone out there can tell me this, I can't fill the whole 8.5 by 11 piece of vinyl. I have to only do like 6 by 9 or something. So I had to shrink it down so it will fit. And these are going to be die cut stickers, which means it's not a sticker sheet. I'm just going to let it cut them all out individually. And they're just going to be like sprinkling of heart stickers. So then I like that. So I hit go. And then the green button there says send to printer. I'm going to click um, add bleed off. Don't know why, but the sticker makers on YouTube say to, so I've always done that. And then I'm going to click print. And then my eco tank's going to print it for me. So the longest part of this is designing them. And obviously I just you know, threw some hearts down there. But if you're really wanting to do some beautiful stickers, you designing the art and placing them on the sticker sheet so that you make the most of the space takes the longest. Then you get your Cricut mat, and I got a brand new one yesterday because my other one was hurting and not very sticky anymore. And then you stick. See those black lines around it that printed? That's the Cricut's going to read those to know exactly where those hearts are. So you make sure you stick it Pretty, oh, look, see, I even changed the filter here. This one's called Blast. And I'm hoping I sped this up. Let's see. So then you're going to, yeah, I sped it up, and I think I sped it up in maybe way too fast. I don't know. Either way, once you feed that in, after it prints and you feed it into your Cricut, yeah, I sped that up way too fast. It's going to cut for you. So now... Um, I want to do a different sticker because so I've done the hearts. They came out like I peeled them. I'm sorry that sped by, but you, you don't have to peel them off. I guess you just kind of poke them out and they're all kinds of little hearts. So now I want to try to do, uh, I think I try to do, oh yes, I made this Valentine's. I wanted to give these to my students. So I already had this design done. So I'm going to place it on Cricut Design Space, upload it, shrink it. And I think I double it, or duplicate it, and then I rotate it. So I select it, 
hit duplicate. I'm still trying to size it right now. Once I get to where I want it, I'm going to uh, select all, duplicate, select all, attach, and then I'm going to rotate it by, I think by mistake at first I rotate it by 180, which just makes it upside down. I just want to turn it on its side, so I rotate it by 90 degrees, which is one of the little tiny buttons you can't see just at the top there. It just says rotate, and you just put a number in. I think it fits better on the vinyl when you rotate it sideways. They can just be a little bit bigger. See there it went upside down, but I really meant to go, I think I fixed it here. So there, I still have to watch the size and make sure it's right butted up against like the zero and watch the size so that it, because it, it will tell you in the, the right hand upper corner there, it'll have a warning sign if it's too big and it won't let you go through with it. So you shrink it down to that little warning, that little orange triangle disappears and then you hit make it. So now I want to send to my printer again, click send to printer, pick the bleed off, and hit print. I know this is riveting, but if you're watching this, maybe you do want to know how to do it. So hopefully this is helpful. And here it comes. Sometimes the vinyl does, it's tricky because where it came rolled up, the edges are still curled. I've been trying to flatten it for like a couple of months now. And the edges kind of still curl even when I lift it out from under all these heavy books. Anyway, it looks pretty good. I like the way the design looks. The printer does need to be recalibrated, so this is never something I would sell or anything. But this is just for me, so put it on your, uh, your sheet, feed it in. Make sure it's pressed down or else it can get tangled in the Cricut. And I do need a new blade too. So I hope I sped this next part up because it took forever to cut. And I think it's because when I did the outline on these, I think what I did was, I, I don't think I used hard air brush. I think I used something that was a little um, textury or something because it cut, it's, instead of a straight line around the whale, for example, it does a little bit of a like, like it goes in and out, in and out, in and out, like really fast, but still annoying. You just want it to kind of whip around and cut them out really quickly. So it's not cutting right through. I have the dial set to custom. So it's on the Cricut. So on your Cricut, make sure it's on custom. And then when you choose, when you're going to cut it, the, Cricut, the your computer will prompt you and ask you to choose what material. You can put sticker paper or printable vinyl or whatever you're using. So you can kind of see how it's, like it should already be done, that whale, but it's, it's taking its time because the sticker outline is very ridgy. However, once it was done, I did like them because it kind of looked a little bit, I don't know, it looked kind of cool that the outline was a little rusticy or something. I'm still waiting for this to be sped up. This is really the longest part too, like besides the design is waiting for your Cricut to cut it out. So as long as your Cricut's set up in an area where it's not gonna, you know, push against anything, you can walk away and come back. So it's still working on the whale. It just cuts like teeny bit into the vinyl so that you can cut the, sh the sticker sheets out and saw the whole sheet or use the whole sheet as one and just peel them. When you're making the die cuts, which I think I might do next, you have to um, cut right through. So you just put your Cricut, instead of custom, you just set it to whatever vinyl or whatever you're using and it will cut right through. So then you have just strict die cut. So now I'm rolling through to see, like as I'm doing the voiceover, to see if I sped this up. Because when you speed it up, there's a little bunny that goes right on the clip, so you know. Oh my god, I can't. You guys, you can't sit there and watch this. This is painful.
anyway, I suppose we could talk. We had a big storm today. Not like Newfoundland big, but it's, it's Sunday and it should be Monday because they would have canceled school. It would have been a lot better. Oh, and you know what else? My kids got a hedgehog today. And I love animals, I really do, but it's like an albino one, and it's like the color of skin, and, well, they're excited, but we've all been too afraid to touch it. So we, we brought it home in a box, and we set it up in this really big aquarium our friend gave us that they weren't using, and we bought a house and everything it would need, and a wheel and a heater, and it eats kitten food, which is kind of cute, and we gave it kitten food. And I just thought it would be kind of like soft, like a guinea pig. But the lady gave it to us at the store, she picked it up, and she was like, ouch, 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 ouch. And I said, are those pokey things sharp? And she said, yeah, that's how he protects himself. So I, I really wanted to change my mind right then and there. But Grace saved up all her money, all of her Christmas money. And she really wanted this, and she swears she'll take care of it. And she is kind of a kid that will do that, though. I know a lot of kids say... I promise I'll I'll feed the dog, walk the dog, and then they don't. But she's she's oddly responsible. Anyway, it's in her room. It's all set up. She's got fairy lights twinkling around it. She's got it looks really great, and it's in there. It's it's kind of like sleeping because it's nocturnal um, all day, and we're kind of staring at it. And then she put like work gloves on to try to pick it up, and it moved, and like we both jumped like out of our skin. Now, I'm, I don't know why I'm totally terrified of this thing right now. So the lady at the store said, go take it home. They're really social. It'll take a while for it to warm up. But it loves his toys and bath, and, and they're very social, and they like to get out of their cage, and blah, blah, blah. So I don't know how we're going to do that, because we're both so afraid of it right now. Oh, maybe Kate will do it. And I think, I think I might even put a little picture at the end of this video because I was uploading some clips from uh, this. I did this tutorial today, actually. I spent some time up in our bonus room making stickers um, during the snowstorm. And uh, I saw a little clip of him, so I think I may, have, I may have dragged it down so you can see him. So, that, so I printed these because when I make stickers, I like to, I just printed them on this, it's called postcard paper. And it's just it's just a little postcard so that you could have a backing to whatever you're whatever you're putting in the little plastic bag to sell, I guess. Like this dream filter, I like it, but it does kind of look like cloudy and dreamy. Hmm. So I'm gonna cut it out because it doesn't print perfectly, which was annoying, but I just use my fussy scissors, fussy cut scissors. Tim Holtz, I love these little scissors. They're really good for cutting stickers if your Cricut screws up or or you just don't like the line. You can just cut really detailed stuff with these scissors. There was a whole section where I printed and cut these little witchy stickers. And when I tried to upload that section, oh wait, maybe it is coming. I don't know. Maybe it's coming. See, I put it in a little plastic bag, and then I put, like, I have a little self-care sticker, which is also a print, and it's a little, um, kind of Oakley. So now I have two cats and Oakley upstairs with me. But thank God that hedgehog can't come up. Oh, and I put some of those little heart stickers, because after I popped them out, I thought they were cute. And then I peel this off, because I'm not, these are, like I say, they were really kind of rough, roughly cut. So I'm just going to choose one. Well, I'm going to cut them first. And I'm going to choose one to close that package up once I get a few more stickers in it. And then if somebody ever wanted a sample of the kind of stickers I make, like, like I don't know, that could happen someday. I have like two customers. And they're, I, have, I really only have two. Um, one's in Phoenix and one's in... Um, Connecticut, and they are the sweetest ladies, and they visit my shop, and they purchase things sometimes, and I mean, I've had, I don't know, a few hundred sales over the last couple of years, but these two ladies, uh, they just make me feel so good about what I do, because they're, they're super sweet. 
So if they wanted to sample, if, if they ordered something, then I would probably just throw this sticker sample pack in with whatever they ordered because I like giving surprises. Okay, so now I'm going to try the witchy sticker. There's only five minutes left here, so I'm not sure how I how I make out with this because I did have trouble with the cricket. I'm not sure which clips I added. So it's that little purple haired girl. Yeah. Purple, sorry. Interruption. So I, I add her. She's my little witchy girl. Make her smaller. So I've done that outline that I showed you earlier where I, I I, put a layer behind her, picked like a light gray color, and I went right around her so that the Cricut would know where to cut. I size her. I want to make these stickers a bit bigger because I'd say they're about three inches by two inches or something. And I want to print at least four to a sheet. So I'm selecting them, attaching them, duplicating them all the same stuff so I'm like once I get all four there I select and attach again so it's just one document or one item I guess for the Cricut to read and then I'm going to send it to the Cricut um the first time I print this I don't know if I put this clip in or not because when you look at your clips unless you watch them all again all you can see is just kind of like a snapshot of like one section of what the clip's about so I'm not sure where I went so it tells you to put it on your Cricut like that after you print it. Um, i got to print it for a send printer. Take bleed off. I think it comes out really crooked and sideways. I don't know if I show or not or if I just deleted that and kept going with the one that came out okay. Let's see. Now that's the one I think that came out okay, although you can see the curled edges are a problem. It came out relatively straight. Nope, that's the bad one. So I put the bad one on just to see if the Cricut, even though it's Cricut, I wondered if the Cricut could read it because it still has the black lines that are still a certain amount of space away from the sticker, but it turns out it doesn't. I think it, I started to do it and it it tells you, it shows you an error screen on your computer and says Cricut can't read this. But they're, they're cute little stickers for your journal or your laptop or your phone or whatever. I kind of like it. Anyway, that was Grace who came up to talk to me for a second when I stopped and she said the hedgehog, which she named Bear, even though we don't know if it's a boy or a girl, found his little house so she bought him like a little log cabin and it has a heating pad under it and she's so excited because he found it. See there's the error message that comes up bright orange and says nope can't do that try again. So all I have to do is back up and try again I just have to click on there's it's you click on printed and it will say it'll ask you again so I printed it again I'm going to put it in properly this time and I changed the camera angle because I'm such a videographer and then I don't know why it's not going. But just look at the cricket from that angle for a second, I guess. And when when it does eventually cut out, um, that's great. I have those stickers, but I also the one that came out funny, I cut with my fussy cut scissors because I didn't want to waste them. Just because it printed crooked doesn't mean that stickers are wasted. So there they are. I think they look good. I don't, oh, there's some weird cut lines there. So I don't think I actually went, I don't think I'm actually going to use those. But those, that's the one that I cut out myself. And I'm going to pop it in the bag. That is not an attractive reflection. Oh, there's the little bag with some stickers, hearts, and the girl, and the little, the self-care girl. I'm going to put my little business card in there. And I'm going to fold it up. This is the end of the video. You're welcome. And I'm going to stick, I think I'm going to use that little bunny sticker. Yep, I'm going to use the bunny sticker. Just to close up this little package.
and now I have a cute little package to give someone or throw in my next order. Oh, and I like to add fun little paper clips. Pretty cute to get, right? I don't know. That's how I make stickers. Message me down below if you have any questions. Oh, there he is. Oh, sorry, it was a real quick clip. He's kind of creepy. Bye.